Hello, my wonderful people. The wife of the president of the country is back and um, she's at it again. We're talking about the woman Aisha Buhari, the first in the history of Nigeria that her husband is in governance, the president number one of the citizen, you may want to say. And guess what? She's she decided to go to uh, the Emirates. Uh, probably there is fire on the mountain. And what does the song suggest? It gives you the solution when you find a big fire on the mountain. It says, run, run, run. That was what the song suggested. And every wise-hearted thinking person will do accordingly so that you are not caught up because um, there are a few elements that when it occurs, it takes God to deliver someone. One of it is when you are in the water and you cannot swim i'm not talking about just a little water do you know even a little water as, as a pool can even kill a man how much more when one is engulfed in fire so uh aisha buhari is back from the emery she's around now but she you know she keeps going back and forth this woman was last in nigeria uh, for her son's wedding which occurred in kano where her son married the uh emir of kano's daughter uh part, uh, besides that she was uh, she has been the emirate came to nigeria nigeria in january when her husband went for medical checkup yeah was out of the country on medical checkup uh she came strictly strictly did her book launch and was out again uh, and so this woman has not been and do not really care what's going on in the country please do not give uh, do not forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's get all the details why media should report governor's wife's activity according to aisha mrs aisha buhari wife of the president major muhammad buhari retired has called on journalists to engage more with state first lady with a view to giving their project more visibility she made the appeal on wednesday night in abuja at an event organized by the independent pay newspaper to honor state first lady who had used their offices to impact positively on the lives of the people in their state especially the less privileged one and vulnerable the event was tagged independence newspaper nigeria first ladies impacts award aisha was the special guest she spoke elaborately on how the first ladies are ignored and not given opportunity for showcasing the work they have done. Aisha reiterated that Nigerians first ladies go a long way to ensure that things are done properly and with the heart of motherliness do the best for their people at all times. But most of this work are never revealed or made known to the people. And so she encouraged that the women, the first ladies should be appreciated, recognized and seen and not ridiculed to the backside or made to feel like they have no impact in governance. A woman's role is not just being a mother, it is also the role of bringing balance. If the first lady see that everyone is concerned about what they do, they will do more and even be more prepared and propel to give the best at every point in time. This will in turn bring about good development for our people and in turn the nation and better development will be experienced all across the lines. The first ladies are not to be forgotten or just put behind because they are women or because they have nothing to impart to society. That's not very true. The first ladies have voices and these are women who can bring meaningful contribution and change to what we have today. So that's the wife of the first lady uh, in Abuja um, yesterday, just last night. They had a meeting where Independence Pepper were recognizing uh, first ladies uh, on account of the things they've done in their states. And, and um, you know, she was one of the special guests. But one we want to ask. So, madam, if you had a special guest and you had such a great time and you've been a first lady, you know what it entails. Why did you leave Nigeria, leaving your husband alone? Remember why she left Nigeria? Can you remember where there was an, uh, an issue in uh, in Asorok where her guards and, um, you know, IGP 
VP of police arrested her guard and she was begging Nigerians. She could not even tell her husband to give an order so that she can be, uh, 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 her aid can be released. You see, so there are a lot of things going on behind closed door and this woman can no longer cope with it. And one of the things she did was to run away. You know, after that incident, after that issue, she left. You know, she keep bringing sign language here and there, for instance, saying, where are the men? Oh, they've taken over governance from us. We are not the one in charge. And blah, 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 blah is happening. And Nigerians keep asking, Madam, if you have anything to say, say it. Do not only set, set us free, set the nation free. Let's understand what is happening. Madam, if you have anything to say, let everybody understand it. What exactly is going on? And what can you bring to the table to change the course of the narrative? You know, it feels very much like she has something to say, but at the same time, she does not want to say anything. You see, so that's the state of dilemma. She has she has something to say, but saying nothing. So it's in between the lines. You have something to say, but you're not saying anything. So how do we know which is which? How do we know which is which? Nigerians have gone on to say, Madam, if you have something to tell us, if you know something that is going on, please say it. Stop beating around the bush, going from left to right. We know that there is a lot going on. But you know, if she says it, anything can happen. Somebody can wake up one morning and tell her that, well, things are not the way they used to be. She slept, blah, 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 blah. And so she herself, the best thing for her to do was to what? Vanish. She comes when necessary. And so she has been invited for this occasion on which she has come again. She has come again. Back into the country, she's now encouraging medias that um, they should not, the woman should not be ridiculed to the background or be forgotten, but that the first ladies should be appreciated, celebrated, and their work should be made known. Okay, that they, they should see the first ladies as people who've got contribution, you know, to society, not only to society, to lives, and see them as women and be able to, you know, recognize their works as well. Most times, just the, the, you know, the duty of the men are seen. But the truth of the matter is, honestly speaking, if the ladies are given opportunity as well, that will encourage them. If they know that they are being washed, that will encourage them to also do more and well. You see, so these are some of the things going on. And it is expedient. It is important that we all uh, see, you know, what this woman is saying. But I really wish that, you know, Aisha Buhari would tell Nigerians more what exactly is happening and why things are the way they are, and what she knows, because if you know she speaks all the time as though there is something that she knows that we don't know, that we need to know. Uh -huh. So, now, so the matter be you, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now. Bye.